Talk to me a little, a little bit about some of the in interesting insights that have come out of your work with partners. Yeah. So this year we've really focused on enabling marketers to use um, a, a couple different data sets. One of them is our um, MVPD owner um, data set where um, a, in a privacy compliant manner a unique identifier for um, our subscribers is matched to set top box data. Um, and so how we match that data again in a privacy uh, compliant manner, how we match that to marketers first party data and to third party data and start to really analyze both audiences um, and campaign impact. How we do that not just for the addressable that NCC Media is selling but for the across their entire national TV investment um, and then even more powerfully how we layer on that measurement for local broadcast, um, local cable and addressable. So when you start to be able to see how audiences or your specific first party audiences are being exposed across those um, huge, huge TV data sources or excuse me, um, video channels, it, um, it opens up a lot of possibilities to start to understand reach, frequency, um, the best ways to, to make the plans to reach your audiences more effectively and efficiently. The insights that we really, that they kind of started to coalesce around three main, uh, three main pillars, if you will. So the first was audiences matter. Of course, that sounds pretty, pretty basic, but um, it gets, um, it, it's quite innovative because what it helps focus on is um, both how my audiences are being reached, um, and how I build audiences. So starting to take a more full funnel approach and looking at how you build audiences um, to support both brand health, brand messaging, all the way down to sales. And a topic that's starting to come up is now, how do I even use, um, how do I even consider audiences um, to help with advocacy, to help with loyalty? Mm -hmm. Super cool. Um, what you need though, you, you, you of course aren't gonna build an audience segment against um, something for advocacy because that's going to be a really small audience. Um, the returns on that aren't going to be efficient. So the way that you can really make addressable work for you if you're a big national brand is to start building audiences um, with sub-segments with each of those funnel um, steps in consideration. So how do you start um, using data uh, combined with brand health information um, that can indicate that it will eventually drive to a different behavior or to the behavior you want? Um, and how do you start to layer in building those audiences to serve up a more robust audience um, across screen. The cool thing about that is then when you take a longitudinal approach when you're measuring that um, and you measure it across time so you really start to work with MTA partners um, and third-party partners. Um, we work with a company called Data Plus Math. Um, how do you start to um, trend that data so that you really see how you're driving that path to purchase or that path to advocacy. Um, so the example I use is if you build an audience using a local, excuse me, using um, uh, uh, an audience that has visited a website and then you build, um, you layer on a subsegment of a lookalike audience uh, to its website visitation. But let's just say you have those two components as part of your um, advertising audience. Then when you measure the impact over time, what you can see is pretty immediately is that the uh, website audience was driven to conversion more than the audience that was the lookalike model. But the lookalike model was driven to the website. And so you can start to see how you can robustly build that out to track how you're efficiently moving that consumer through the funnel and hopefully then you're starting, it, it's more than just the, your advertising plan, you're starting to um, leverage that data in a way that helps impact cre your creative strategy, your platform strategy, the ad load strategy and such.